Welcome everyone to another lesson on Khadija Academy. Before we start this lesson, hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, and the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Now let's go and start our lesson. Hey guys and welcome to another lesson in our course for uh, DG or Distributed Generators. In this part of the course, we will start discussing the vector control. And in order to understand vector control, we need to understand a very important transformations, Clark and Park transformations. These two are very important in vector control. You will find that every vector control contains Clark or Park or even both of them. So let's understand what is the problem exactly. So first we need to draw the space vector of a balanced three phase system. Let me explain this. So we have in reality, let's talk about asynchronous, asynchronous generator. As we know that on our rotor, we have our field winding. It can be a field winding or it can be like here, permanent magnet that provides constant DC field or a DC flux. When this one starts rotating, when our rotor starts rotating, this field will cut the three phase of the stator, phase A, phase B, and phase three or phase C then you will find that we will have a three generated voltages okay va uh, and vb and vc right three phase voltages okay now what we would like to do is to draw the vector of these voltages here so you will find that number one that these voltages let's say va vb and vc you will find that the voltage is generated at the two terminals v max cosine omega t v max cosine omega t minus 120 v max cosine omega t plus 120 three phase shifted by 120 degrees remember this is as a magnitude however this is not only as a problem this is representing magnitude of a magnitude of b magnitude of c okay this is a magnitude however these three vectors as you can see here are shifted by 120 degrees in in space so physically you can see this is a first phase shifted by 120 degrees in the machine itself and this is also shifted by 120 degrees. So we have here two points. Number one, that VA is equal to this magnitude and angle zero, it's our reference. VB will be VB as a magnitude, V max cosine omega t minus 120, the variation in the magnitude of B and an angle minus 120 degrees. And VC will be also like this, VC and the angle 120 degrees. So this phase shift is due to the induced EMF in these, um, in these coils due to the rotation of this DC flux. And also you will find that this shift, zero, negative 120, 120, is due to the physical physical space shift between these phases. Now, why is this important? Because you will find that the space vector, how it looks like, it will be like this. A has a zero angle, B like this, minus 120 degrees, and C plus 120 degrees. So you'll find that the three phases are shifted in space by 120 degrees, which came from the physical shift or the space shift. 
and the magnitude itself it changes due to the change of the induced emf here as you can see here so when we present our system it will be like this we have the three phase as a magnitude changing with time with omega t and in space you will find that the red one representing phase a you can see that phase a it changing all the time right as a magnitude in its base it is at a zero angle you can see going to zero going to the negative value then continue again so you can see it doesn't change as an angle phase a doesn't change angle for uh, phase uh, the next one which is b which is this uh, this green one you can see that it, it it changes as a magnitude okay it doesn't change in space as a magnitude for uh, C which is the blue one also has a constant the angle okay okay so what about this you will see that phase A B and C as a magnitude shifted by 120 degrees in a space you will find that A has a zero angle B shifted by uh, an angle which is um, which is e to the power j alpha e to the power j alpha is a phase shift of 120 degrees okay and uh, fc is also shifted by 100 uh, 240 degrees anyway they are shifted by 120 degrees so you'll we'll find that and this is very important as we know that a balanced three phase system when we take va plus vb plus v, vc it is equal to zero right balanced system However, this is as a magnitude. If you take the voltages as a magnitude, it will be zero. However, if you consider them as a vectors, three vectors, A, B, and C, they are shifted by 120 degrees too. So we'll find that in reality, the resultant vector, and this is very important, resultant rotating space vector is equal to FA plus gamma fb plus gamma square fc which is 1.5 e to the power j omega t what does this even mean it means that the resultant vector has a constant magnitude and its angle it changes with time with omega t so what i mean by this is that if you draw this vector let's say our space like this which you can see here so what you will find that is our vector f resultant it is not equal to zero why because we added the phase shift in space the 120 degrees in space 1.5 e to the power j omega t so what you will find that at omega t equal to zero when the at the very beginning when the phase angle equal to zero you will find that f resultant will be as a magnitude 1.5 and the angle will be zero so it will be at this position here at omega t equal to zero with the magnitude 1.5 when omega t let's say it increases to 30 degrees then the vector will be like this 30 degrees 1.5 um, as a magnitude 2 the magnitude doesn't change j omega t the angle will be 30 degrees and then uh, at 90 degrees it will be here at 120 like this and like this like this so it keeps rotating all the time so you can see that the vector is a resultant the vector is a rotating vector it changes with omega t all the time that's why this one which is a black uh, line this line uh, this black vector has a constant magnitude which is 1.5 as you can see here and rotating in a space okay so the resultant of the three phase is a rotating vector thank you for watching this lesson i would like to invite you to our academy khadija academy premium uh, membership which will help you learn more about electrical engineering in this academy or in the academy membership you will find that we'll have more than 100 
uh, courses in mass, electrical engineering basics, uh, power engineering uh, career uh, preparations. For example, we have electrical design, we have courses on electric circuits, power electronics, ETAB, MATLAB, solar energy, wave energy, wind energy, and much more. You can uh, join our membership for just a small fee per month or you can just have a lifetime access in which you will get all of current uh, courses and classes and you can have them forever and not only this but any any new courses that will be created you will be able to uh, watch it for completely free so what are the classes that i will learn in this membership you will find different classes in electric circuits you will find in uh, transformers, magnetic circuits, machines, uh, power electronics, uh, load estimation, lighting design, lightning also design, earthing system, cables, uh, generators, um, light current systems, or low current systems, uh, off-grid design, on-grid design. Very, very lot, <laughs> lots of uh, classes and courses in different uh, topics.